Well, what's up, nail friends, and welcome to the vlog. Okay, so to start this vlog off, I'm gonna tidy up in here because I've been filming a lot of like mini clips on my fake hands and it's getting really messy. I'm just kind of like piling stuff up and I gotta put it away. Okay, so lately I film right here and I have my computer right here, but I'm finding that that's not working out. I'm thinking about moving my computer from there to the corner there and then using this for this stuff and put like my nail stuff on because this is not enough space <laughs> for like all my colors. Okay, so here we're at right now. So this is always here and it still stays there. So this works out really well for me because now my computer is kind of like next to me, which I find is gonna be so much easier. And this will still be able to hook up to my camera because I just checked. So far I'm liking this better. I brought this chair in here today because my back's been hurting super bad. Um, I gotta wipe this down, but for the most part, it's much tidier. It feels so much better to have it tidied up in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do my own nails. I'm not really gonna do like any kind of tutorial here because this is a vlog, but I am gonna just show you guys how bad I bit my nails, for one. So I'll show you guys right now. Yeah, they're not looking so good. So this is my one hand that looks great. The Instagram picks my nail art design. And then this is my other hand. So yeah, it's not feeling so good having one long hand and one extremely bitten hand. Today I'm just gonna do, uh, I've done this so many times on my channel, that's why I'm not really gonna do a tutorial. It's just the easiest, fastest thing for me to do on myself. So I'm gonna do the um, Opre Gel X extensions. So I'll just show you guys just the one nail. To get started on prep, I'm going to push my skin back. So keep in mind this is on my, my dominant hand. So, so it's never as easy when it's on your dominant hand. So I'm gonna push back the skin. So I have my e on reverse and I'm just gonna work on my cuticle area and get the skin up gonna brush that off so this bit is just a flame bit we sell them on the nail throne site which is my site I own the nail throne and this bit is kind of pointy so you just gotta be careful with it I'm gonna buff the shine okay then I'm gonna use this bit which will just get the skin kind of out of the way my favorite but it feels super nice I'm just kind of push the skin and then I'll get any extra skin off the nail plate but also move it out of the way so that when you apply your enhancements you have nothing in the way I love hearing your guys's um, like tips and tricks and stuff last time you mentioned to use acetone to etch the inside of your opre instead of using like a file the acetone should like melt the inside or something, as people were saying. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use acetone inside this time and see how that is. So I've already sized these tips to fit my nails. Okay, so I'm gonna use the pH bonder primer. This is acid free primer. Okay, so I'm also gonna use the extend gel. Be careful when you place this in your drawers. Like it spills out every time. So annoying. So I'm just gonna do a super thin layer of this on my natural nail. But before we cure that, look at this. So someone in my, um, so someone messaged me recently after my last opre video because I was struggling to get my hand in the line and they suggested getting this. It's a little light. I'm gonna try this little light today instead for the flash curing. So I was into my computer and then it just has a little switch that you can click when you're ready to use it and then you just go under it. So. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna do a thin layer of this gel on my nail. Okay, I press this button and then just go under it. So this can be so much easier for me now. So this is the tip. I etched the inside with acetone. 
we're gonna use gel on bottles is the worst. I have to clean this off. It's so sticky, it's all over my hands now. So we got our extend gel. My nails aren't long, so we're just gonna put a little bit in here. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit here. So I click the button here. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. Got that in place. And then flash cure. Oh my God, that's so much easier. This is very, very convenient. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it in my light for full care. And that's it, so easy. Okay, so that's how the nail looks. So there's no bubbles this time because of this little light. I love it. I'm so excited that I got that. I know that Opre comes with a tiny little light, but I find it too flimsy and hard to use. So that's why I'm using this one. So I'm gonna do the rest of these. And just Okay, so I got them shaped. What I'm gonna do for something easy, since I just want this to be quick, is I'm gonna use the Glitter Bells Rainbow Pop Glit, and then I'm just going to push in some of these unicorn flakes into it. And then I'm gonna make them shine. For me, doing my non-dominant hand, I find the easiest thing for me is to either do glitter, like this, because you can't really mess up glitter around the cuticle area. Full color gel polish is kind of hard to to do because it's hard to do with your non-dominant ha hand. <laughs> but like, I'm down to do more things on my own hands for you guys. So please, let me know down below what you wanna see. I cured that, so this is kind of like, a, it's got a tacky top, and I'm just gonna kind of push these into that, which will give it a super pretty look, but it was super easy and fast to do. Okay, so here's how they look before top coat. So, before top coat, I'm gonna go in with the Luminary Nail Systems Clarity, and this will just stop the flakes from chipping. So you guys might know that if you put top coat directly over like foil or flakes, it can chip. So I'm just gonna apply the Clarity down first. It's super strong like a hard gel, so. Just a super thin coat of Clarity down first, just to keep flakes where they need to be. And then we'll top coat. Okay, then I'm gonna use my no wipe top coat to actually top coat these. Okay, I washed my hands and here is the finished design. So super simple and easy and fast, cute. Will stop me from biting so I can grow them out. Okay, so we're gonna go shopping now. I am gonna take you guys with me to Michael's because I have some stuff I wanted to get from Michael's. And Michael's is such a fun place to shop. So you're gonna come shopping with me. Always looking for flower bunches. Those are cute. Oh, there's some blackboards here. They already have tons of Halloween and Thanksgiving stuff out already. It's so funny how fast. It's like not even summer yet. Well, it is summer technically, but hardly. Ooh, maybe I should think ahead, guys. Get some fall props. The pine cones and stuff, that's so cute. So yeah, we'll take a look at that stuff in a bit. Here's more flowers. Okay, I'm getting too distracted. Let's go look at the paper. Ooh, hey, these are the things that Talia has that she puts the crystals on. There's only two, but I want them. So stuff like this, like tool and stuff, that's great for backgrounds, for nail art. What are these even for? I don't know, but they're pretty. So Tilly always has these carts, and they sell the carts like that here too. Look, we have a purple one. Animal print. Do we like this?
white satin. Mm, ooh. But look, they also have plain papers that you can actually just like, I buy the books, but you can actually just get the papers that you like. It's like, I really want this, but sometimes they don't photograph well, unless I put my camera on manual. So maybe I should just do that sometimes and get what I want, you know? Ooh. Iridescent paper. Oh wow, I didn't even realize. These ones are three dollars. Probably because they're more fancy. These ones are only 99 cents. I actually was planning to start filming fall tutorials now so I can try to get ahead. So I feel like this is really cute. This is gonna look cute. To these, I think I'm gonna get one. And then maybe I'll go for some clearance flowers. I'm not like desperate for flowers, but something on sale would be nice. Ooh, those blues. I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I picked up from Michael's, so let's get started on that. Okay, so I did end up going for those flowers I was talking about. I went for these ones with the pine cones, guys. I just think it's so cute. I think it'd be perfect for using for autumn stuff. And then I also got some blues because I have purple flowers and white flowers, but I don't have blue. I thought they looked nice together. I can put them with the white flowers I have too. Just stuff for background props and stuff. So I liked both of these. I thought they were really pretty. And I'll get lots of use out of those. Okay, what I also ended up going for were these. So I'm gonna take the sticker off the back and then they'll be clear. But aren't they cute? Talia from Talia's Nail Tales has them. And I always think they look so cute when she puts her crystals in it and picks from that. So that's why I got them. I wish they had more than just the two. But that's what they had for now. So I'll have to check back next time to see if there is any more because these are really cute and you guys know I like to have like my background props be really pretty. Okay, so I also got these jewelry storage boxes and the reason I got these was again, I'm gonna mention Talia's Nail Tales. I'm just gonna link her channel down below because I get a lot of my tips from her. So if you guys are interested, check out her channel. But the reason I picked these up and I only picked up two, even though I have a ton, I got these to put my transfer foil in because that's what Talia was doing in a transfer foil video and I wanted to see if it would work well for me. So I got two of them just to test it out, see what they look like. And then I can always go get more if I need them. So here's what the one looks like. I think that that's gonna be way easier to find what I need. And also I can open it up and kind of cut pieces off, um, put back what you don't need. It's just gonna be a lot easier because these little jars, you have to open them individually. And if you have like 20 things of foil, you end up using less foil when it's, you end up using less of anything when it's not easy to access. So this is gonna work out really well for me, I think. And I like the way it looks. The last whole thing I wanted to show you guys that I got from Michaels was all the paper pads I picked up and all the paper. I did end up going for the white. This one is like a white texture, which I think is really cool. So this is why I got the book for these. They're like textured white. Look how pretty that is. Here's a flower pattern. So in this book, you get two of each, which is kind of nice. Here's another nice texture flowers looks like a like a lace pattern like a tool Ooh, little bows more pretty patterns chevron type patterns roses this book's perfect oh this one i'm so glad there's two of this one this one's really nice okay so that was the first paper pad book that we got okay the second one i ended up going for was this one it was the one with the plaid and so i'll open this one up this one is called Fall Orchid. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. Oh, I like this one. Ooh, I like this little, oh, it's so cute. It's got little apples. Ooh, so far I'm really liking this book. Ooh, there's nothing I don't like so far. Ooh, yes, I love it. 
This book's the best. Cozy sweater stuff, so cute. Plaid. So I like the plaid a lot. I got the mainly got this book because of the plaid, but it just turned out to have a lot of good stuff in it. So this one has the little apples. And then I just got a bunch of plain papers. So let's take a look at that. Some of the fancy papers like this one that came inside the plastic are $3.99. They feel thick. They have embossing. This one's really nice. I really like this. It's gonna be great for filming mini clips. Yeah. This is another $3.99 one. So like I said, it's really hard to film with glitter. The camera I use for my overhead camera here has a manual setting. So if I set it to manual, then it, there's no way it can accidentally focus on the glitter. This one is one of the 99 cent ones. I thought this was cool. Marble swirl, it's called. Some greenery, some realistic greenery. Pink flamingos. Yes, arrow patterns, autumn paper, cute little birdies, lemons. This one's two-sided. I got it because of the lemons watercolor kind of like ice cream cones and then the last two pieces are these really cool like thick pieces so i have tons of new paper props now to use for backgrounds for compilation videos i'm really excited okay so i just opened my door and a package came so i thought it'd be the perfect ending to this video to show you guys what it is okay so i was shopping on um red iguana's recent restock so i decided to order a few things because i love the fake hands that they have i like the fact that you can take the nails out and save them and stuff so this is the most recent hand i've purchased um this is the april color i really like this hand but i just really into the hand so much i just wanted a couple so these are the boxes i have so this is a full hand this is a half hand and then this is a finger so her packaging is super pretty um let's start with the finger first so i did get the lucy finger i think it is lucy so this is what the finger looks like i'll show you guys compared to the other two i have Okay, so this is my new hand. So this one, or new finger. So this one is the Lucy finger. This one is the uh, April. And then this one is Anne Louise, I think. I'll have to double check. But those are the, so that's the new finger I got in. Oh, and I use the fingers for compilation videos. So that's why I need more fingers. <laughs> then I actually got a matching half hand. And this is the packaging in that color as well yeah so yeah you get the this is what the packaging looks like for the half hand super small and cute and then it comes in these bags so i decided to ooh, you know what this looks so much grayer on the website in person it definitely doesn't look gray so the reason i got the half hand this time was because i have uh the full hand in this and then this box is another full hand so i got this basically to just film on i think and when i take photos i like to use the hands with the palms hey but who knows sometimes i take photos where it's only this showing so that's why i wanted to get i did you know they're they're not like cheap or anything so i didn't want to buy like two full hands in one the half hand's great too they just get better and better every time i get them yeah so i'll show you guys what the full hand looks like of the newest full hand i got um, so this hand, oh, I ended up getting more jewelry in my box. You don't always get them as only as supply lasts. So I got some of the ring and that. Last time I bought the silicone breakfast hand, I opened it before I even showed you guys because I was so excited. But this time, luckily, this came today. So I wasn't able to open it before showing you guys. So I can show you guys the packaging. Oh, gosh. So this is the exact same skin tone as the finger I have here. So I purposely did that. I wanted the full hand because I really liked the color, the skin color of this hand. Um, yeah, so, so far, these are the hands that I have. The Anne Louise, I think it is. The Lucy, April. This one, I think is Lisa, um, but this one's broken, so yeah. So these are the colors I have. So you guys can kind of get an idea if you were looking for them, how they differentiate. And these are all poseable, just because I personally feel like it's easier to work on the poseable hands. I have some non-poseable hands. 
Um, I just really like having the option of moving the fingers around. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have filmed a lot and I think this video is gonna be quite long. I'm probably gonna play around with these um, hands right now, film some content maybe. So yeah, keep an eye out for some new content. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you subscribe, please click the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.